Oh yes, we are back. Today I'd love to share an early investment of mine I believe is going to do really well in the coming months. The NFTs. Heard of NFTs? How about turning your NFTs into 3D and using them in game? Is that not unbelievable and mind-blowingly awesome? We are talking about zoo jeans here. The moment I heard about these, I waited impatiently to get my hands on some. There were a total of 10,000 lovely animals available to mint in three rounds. So I waited, eyeballs glued to the screen. <laughs> you never know with NFT drops, a slight drop in internet performance, server overload, cookies you forgot to delete, and several other things can hinder your chances of getting your hands on one. The adrenaline is real. Sweaty hands, sweaty feet, Hush. a clenching of the jaw, several visits to the dentist until finally the countdown is over. Now it's time to summon superhuman powers to gain the fastest speed in the universe and be the first person out of another 50,000 people to click the buy now button. Just think of all the people in their homes staring at their screens just like you. All together now, all together. Disclaimer, avoid if you have a weak heart. And one, buy now. Yep. Luckily, the only issue was that the server got overloaded, as they usually do during these kinds of drops. And that's actually a good thing because it proves demand in the market. The way around it was to increase my gas fees and voila. Now, of course, if you have done NFT drops before, you know, <laughs> you know this. But if it's your first time doing it or if you're a little bit new, then it would have taken you a little bit longer to get it. And I have some friends who have gotten in on this and it took them a little bit longer to get in because they didn't know that if they increased their gas fee they would have gotten in a lot faster. Then you get put in a queue and the staring impatiently at the screen continues. Once the wait is over your NFT is generated and you get to jump around with joy or curl up in bed and die if you're hoping to be the one and only person to get the one and only super cool cat available. Now it's important to know that there is only one of each no copies. You are the only person in possession of the NFT that you receive or buy from someone else when the marketplace opens. Open Zoom when that's available. Unlike some NFTs in the space where they're like 5,000 copies of the same piece of artwork. Ah, uh -uh, not here. One copy of each, baby, the scarcity is real. So I mint my first Zoojin NFT and jump straight back into the queue to line up for another one. After the first, second and third rounds, these are my lovely pets. You might be wondering why these NFTs have abilities. Well, as I said before, these beautiful zoo animals turn into 3D for you to use in game. Just think about being in game, interacting with other people's NFTs. That is the next level, chase it, people. <laughs> Turning your NFTs into actual in-game characters. I should also mention that minting these NFTs don't come with the hefty ERC20 <laughs> price tag. At the moment, it all runs through one chain, which is incredibly cheap. The first game that should be getting released around the end of this year is Zoo Races. Think of Super Mario Kart, but your NFTs as your characters. It can't get any better. I will 100% be to blame for overloading the servers the moment the game is out. Yep, I have very high hopes. Eek Drazzle. It's important to know that they haven't just chosen any game developer here. They're working with Eek Drazzle, one of the top video effects, animation and VR studios in Bangkok. You should look into some of their productions. They are top of the top. And here is a preview of the Zoo Racers game. your NFT. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I want that cat. <laughs> What's really cool is people from different blockchains will be able to play against each other. I admit I should have made this video before the NFT drop, but you will still be able to get your hands on some when the open zoo marketplace opens, so no worries. Bottom line, your 2D NFTs will turn into 3D NFTs and you will be able to use them in game. 
and the OpenZoo marketplace will be launching at some point <laughs> soon and you will be able to trade your NFTs within the marketplace and <laughs> the game is coming out at the end of this year, hopefully. The token. Okay, okay, listen up. There are things that you can already do to get involved with this awesome project, starting off with their currency, which is already available to trade. Let me whack CoinGecko up on there so you can have a quick look at the info. The boring part. This is not financial advice. Do your own research, invest at your own risk. So how can you get your hands on some Zoo? I suggest staking it on their platform, so I will start there. Step one, if you already have an account with BitTrue and have some available balance you can trade for Zoo, feel free to get some on there. There is a Zoo USDT pair, so you'd have to convert whatever you have into USD before making the trade. If you're like me and use any other exchange, check which ones have one. Let's go to CoinGecko and type in one. Scroll down and boom! You'd need either Binance or Qcoin. If you don't have any of those exchanges, feel free to click on the links in the description below and choose whichever one you prefer. Both are great, both are going to do the trick. Even though I had a Qcoin account before I started using Binance, when I started using Binance, I ended up using Binance more than Qcoin, but that being said, Binance doesn't have all the coins. Sometimes when I'm looking for a coin, it's not listed on Binance, I go into Qcoin and I find it on Qcoin. So it's always good to have both. The more you get involved in the crypto space, the more exchanges you're going to end up with anyways. So you might as well just go ahead, spend the extra five minutes and sign up for both. Links below, thanks for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Okay, so now that we have some one coin, it's time to send it to MetaMask. Open MetaMask, make sure you add one chain because Zoo runs on the one chain blockchain, which is popular for its low fees. And listen up, they have a bridge that works with other networks like Ethereum, Polkadot, Binance Smart Chain and others. Let's have a look at the price movement. It is way below its all-time high, a fantastic time to get in. Do be aware that this project has only been around for a few months, so you'd be getting in really early. Here's how to do it. I will leave the copy and paste information in the description below. Tap or click on your account here at the top to copy your wallet address. Go to your one wallet in Binance or Qcoin, tap on withdraw, paste your MetaMask wallet address and voila! Wait for it to arrive, it's surprisingly fast. Now we need to swap our one for some zoo. You guessed it. Let's head over to OneSwap to do the swap. Connect your MetaMask wallet, swap your available one for some zoo. The zoo will be available in your MetaMask wallet after the swap. Now that you have some zoo, let me show you all the things you can do on the Zookeeper platform the platform. Oh, look at this. Head over to zookeeper.finance. I will leave it up to you to explore in your own time, but let's have a little look at the best bits together. Of course, you want to make sure that your wallet is connected. <laughs> let's have a little look. This is the main page. You can definitely have a little read through this. Then we've got the Zoo. The Zoo is where you can stake coins or tokens and get rewards. You will get rewarded in Zoo and Wasp. I think it's pretty good. As we can see here, you can add liquidity and get 149%. This one here is Wasp. Wasp is the one swap token. And then you can see here which tokens you can stake in order to get the rewards, which would be up here. 149%, 85%, 113, 40, 129, 77, 155. You very likely know that other platforms will reward you in one token. So here in this platform, you get rewarded in two tokens, Zoo and Wasp. If I'm getting involved, I think I might be choosing this one. Not because of the cat. <laughs> I love the cat, it's my favorite one. But, and I think I like the cat because of the video, to be honest. I'm very easy to market to. I'm a very easy target when it comes to marketing. I do believe the value of Zoo and Wasp is gonna go up. So I would likely be doing Tony Stripes. Tony Stripes, he even has a cute name. Next, we've got the Expedition, where you can buy, say, a gold chest, a silver chest, or you can just stake some Zoo, as you can see here, in order to get an NFT, which then you can stake. You can come over here as well, and you can stake some NFTs in order to get higher rewards. In order to get higher rewards. Did you hear that? <laughs> you can get even more. <laughs> okay, so Expedition, yeah, let's buy a gold chest. You need 49,171.2 Zoo. Burn your Zoo and secure a 100% chance of acquiring a random NFT collectible. And we will see what those NFTs are in a second. Crafting, just to go in order here, very simply put, you can merge two NFTs in order to generate a random NFT. And I believe that you can have a preview, unlike Axie Infinity, 
<laughs> you can have a preview of what your final NFT is likely going to look like. I'm not sure if this is right. I'm not sure if I'm right about this, so don't take my word on it, but I believe you can put two of your NFTs together in order to create a new NFT, and I believe you will be able to get a preview. I believe so. Um, the reason I say in like axes because you know, you might have two really, really good, uh, strong axes and then you breed them and then you get an axe that has like the worst combination of cards possible. <laughs> That's happened to me. That's happened to me. <laughs> so I like the idea of um, crafting and being able to preview what you're going to get. <laughs> I love surprises. I love surprises. But when it comes to this kind of stuff, I think I'd rather have the, the preview, you know? <laughs> Moving on. We have the safari. I'm involved in the safari, by the way. <laughs> Here, basically, you just have to stake zoo. I have 3,891 zoo in there at the moment, creating some nice rewards. 4.2958 The benefit of the safari is that if you only want to stake one coin, if you only want to stake just a zoo, then you can stake it on the safari on its own. And then you'll get rewarded in zoo as well. So we've visited the safari. Let's go to the Zurina. It's a bit like Corina Zurina. Corina Zurina Cryptorina. Cryptorina in the Zurina works so what's this blah, blah, blah. i like when you hover over things that they like are animated like that that's really cool so what's this like blah, blah, blah is going to fight against a vitalik sapitrin join a clan Ooh. <laughs> if this is for you then feel free to check it out i will move on i'm just going to give like a rough overview i'm not going to get too much into detail we have the market Ooh. so you've got the zoo boosters market and you've got the zoo elixirs market you've seen before that you can combine a zoo booster with a zoo elixir and you can get you can craft uh, an NFT. So let's go for the zoo booster is, have a little look. If you buy one of these zoo boosters, you can then go to the zoo and you can stake it. If you stake one of these NFTs on there, then you can get more. It adds a little bit of a boost. If you are interested, feel free to have a little look through. But basically you can buy all of these NFTs and you can use them as boosters to gain a higher percentage return. Let's have a look at the elixir. So you can just come up to the tab at the top, click on elixir. Elixir, elixir. Not elixir, elixir. <laughs> elixir, elixir. I've got my own language going sometimes. Okay. Can you imagine if, if it's not even elixir and I just make a fool of myself. <laughs> 88 items. And that's the price there. And yeah, you can have a little look in your own time. Announcement. This is a great little page for you to read up on what's happening in this space. You should totally, totally keep up to date. Totally. This is a great, a great little section here. Definitely, definitely. Even if that's the first thing you do, click on this. Announcement, have a little read. Also, remember to Twitter, you know, Twitter, they're on Twitter. And there's a lot of information on Twitter. So make sure you follow them on Twitter. Okay, that goes without saying. <laughs> and when you go on their Twitter account, you'll be able to see that there's links to their Telegram and everything else. Documentation. This is also very important. I would definitely suggest you have a read through all of this. It just comes with doing your own research. <laughs> and if we jump over vote and go straight to insights, you'll be able to get some nice little insights into the stats. Definitely worth having a look. You can also buy Zoo from here, by the way, by clicking on this here. It will take you straight to one swap. I think that's a lot of information already for one video, right? You know, just like going over the basics of, of Zookeeper platform. I do want to show you Zoo Jeans platform, okay? So it's it's separate, it's separate. There's um, Zoo Jeans here. These are the little characters that you can use in game. You see how beautiful this is? Like this little thing here, 2D, turns, turns into this. That turns into that. This is my one. I just love the helmet and the, and the goggles and car, you know, it's just so cool. <laughs> but that being said, I do really love the ones that I got as well. I got a lot of crying ones though. What is that all about? Look, he's sad. I'm sad. I kind of like the happy ones a bit better and I got like loads of crying ones. <laughs> But I got some really some really cool ones anyways. I got some super rares, some super, super rares. Really happy with what I, I have gotten. And of course, I was not expecting to get the cat. <laughs> what do you think about zookeepers? Let me know in the comments below. 
I am um, definitely like, I'm very excited about the Mario Kart style game that they have coming out and the NFTs and being able to turn them into 3D to play the game. That is what excites me the most. They don't only have Zoo Racers coming out, but I believe there's going to be more games. Zoo Racers is just the first one and uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> and then, you know, as a side thing, you have you have the, the Zookeepers platform where you can stake and you can get rewards. And I'm also going to get more involved with that. Are you? Let me know in the comments below. It's no secret that getting into projects early is the way to go when it comes to making easy, quick money in the crypto space. But that being said, these projects have to resonate with you. I love gaming. I've been keeping that on the low, but I will very likely have a playlist on blockchain gaming on my channel very soon because I, I do love gaming. <laughs> and you can make money from buying and selling NFTs. You can make money from play to earn games and it is in line with my channel. So stay tuned for that. I only talk about projects that I'm personally invested in myself. Uh, or or that I'm planning on getting involved in or that I'm not involved in but I believe have potential. I care about you guys. I can't stress enough about not taking my word on anything and doing your own research. This is just meant to be informative just, just because you might have not heard about this and it might sound like a good idea and you might want to research further before getting involved. And we have come to an end. Are you just as excited as I am about this project? I am such a fan of Mario Kart <laughs> and I love collecting NFTs. So it's a no brainer for me. What do you think? I'd like to hear if you like Mario Kart too. Let me know in the comments. Do you like Mario Kart? Do you play a lot? I play a lot. I'm not good at it but I love playing it, I love it. I'm one of those people who <sighs> always come last, but play anyway. <laughs> we have an exciting future ahead of us. Thanks for stopping by and for watching to the end. Have an awesome morning, day or night and see you very soon in another video. Bye-bye. Remember to follow Zookeeper on Twitter.